do you fear God if you want to if you want to advance in this life you must have a, a new fear for God not that you are afraid of him no but you must fear him the same way there are children that are not afraid they don't fear their parents they do anything say your father you know go beat you say, forget that man you see you must understand that God is the God of love but it's also the fact was Jehovah support you don't want God to come against you the days that God come against you you feel as though you are the devil yourself but if you have a holy fear for God what happens is that he hide you in a place in him where nothing can touch you any believer that must advance into this society must have a fear for God there are things you will never do if you fear God an average believer does not fear God don't be part of those average believers one of the greatest challenge of the believers of today most of them don't fear God that's why they live a compromising life today you see him a Christian tomorrow he pass life he come back a Christian you are not afraid that if you want to steal this phone thunder will strike you and everybody believe you can do anything you want to do because we don't fear God I always say you can't take a goat to Baba Lao Shirai and come back later and say give me your goat why you are afraid something will strike you but it's God that you still shake God and still do anything you want to do many of you today are living a carnal life why because you are not afraid of God see let me tell you sometimes they fear in me it's not as if I'm afraid of the devil no it's God I'm afraid of I'm afraid that God can wake up one day and say and kill me the way he told Moses come and die at that time nobody can negotiate with you again so when any time we live we live in holiness and we live in fear not because of anything but because we know that we are in a place where sometimes God won't permit his mercy for us I can pray for God mercy for you but me sometimes he may not permit it so you will punish me so by the time you begin to advance with God more a time come God impute in you a holy fear for him do you fear God if you truly fear God eh, you will give time to him if you truly fear God you will cry to him if you truly fear God there are things you will never want to do it's not about doing to repent tomorrow what if you are doing it and you die in the midst of it a man that doesn't fear God will say don't worry I will repent tomorrow I went and met a guy give your life to Christ he said mm. say I want to live all the bad life I want to live I want to sleep with all the ladies when I finish I will steal all the money when I finish I will now repent and become a pastor I say you don't fear God and that is why you see you may not live to see the day that you become a pastor it's a different thing if you are in ignorance it's a different thing but consciously because an average believer rebel against God willingly when you don't have the fear of God you will live your life anyhow this is the reason why you see pastors sleep around mess around they don't fear God it's not about the microphone ministry is not all about puppets no it's your lifestyle and a man that doesn't fear God we have a compromised lifestyle holiness is what we left for deeper life no it's for everybody live a life of holiness if you truly fear the Lord live a life devoted and committed to him that's the secret to advance and the Bible for that says it's the secret to long life the next challenge of a believer is a genuine love for God and every believer don't love God I will tell you the truth go with me to the book of first Corinthians I need to be so fast the book of first Corinthians first Corinthians 2 9 the Bible says but it is written eyes have not seen nor ears heard neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him a genuine love for God brings a man to a realm where he exists all by himself with God God eh? let me tell you love everybody but God honor them that love him more you won't believe what I'm telling you see I love Jesus I love Jesus I don't know about you do you truly love Jesus average believer doesn't love Jesus it will shock and surprise you that just because somebody came here and gave his life to Christ you believe he loved the Lord he doesn't 
check very well their commitment to other things matters more the reason why you will see going to party as a better option than coming to the house of god is because you don't love god forget that you, you may fear god and be afraid going there and be repenting on the road but you see if you truly love god if you love me the bible says keep my commandment if you love god naturally you will be associated to him when you love someone what do you do are you not happy to see the person all the time are you not always missing the person are you not always going to see the person an average believer does not have a close, a close relationship with god simply because he doesn't love god the lord told me many years ago he said philip if you can love me and love me enough there is nothing i can do for you so forget about the ministry let me tell you before you came here i have been loving jesus you won't come out of the place and love for jesus is a lie many of us here our prayer point father gave me a car a house and i know if god give you that one you stop loving him please do you truly love jesus or you just want power you want power you want money you want a house in fact you want a husband you want a wife that's good you want a child that's good but do you love jesus do you really love jesus because if you do not love jesus the problem is this many other things will distract you from this pursuit please ask your neighbor do you truly love jesus genuinely i know you are born again but do you truly love jesus in fact let's say it now jesus i love you say it i can't remember the last time you said this i know many of you you can't remember the last time you truly tell jesus you love him say it again jesus i love you i know you have told your wife you have told your girlfriend you have told your boyfriend say jesus i love you can you now feel how you start feeling as though see let me tell you you must have a genuine love for god the bible says, eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has he come to the heart of any man the things that god has prepared for those that love him there are things that god can only reveal to those people that love him many years ago the lord told me philip love me and love me well so oftentimes i don't know about you i know you are lonely me i can lock myself inside and just stay with god i may not be praying do you know what i'm doing i just create a room for me to just with god you will never understand even if i cannot speak in tongues i keep on saying lord jesus i love you lord jesus i love you it's prayer you don't know and so long as i keep telling him i love him i am recommitting myself to him again the born cry you came and did is just telling the lord you love him but by the time you keep telling him you love him it has a way of bonding you more within the more consciously have a genuine sincere love for god beyond car beyond house beyond admission beyond first class beyond ministry so that even if everything fails, you won't give up on god you will still come back why because you truly love it and let me tell you nobody that genuinely love god that god doesn't advance his life is a lie anytime you love someone you are jealous enough to ensure that everything that concerns the person work and that is what god does that's what the bible says eyes have not seen yes i've not heard there are things that god reserves only for those that love him so one among the challenge of a believer is a genuine love for god you must love god genuinely strive to love god genuinely don't just live your life anyhow loving other people loving a house loving a car many of you love this one love a good hair love jesus